What is up everybody, welcome to Sexpress. I am Steven and I'm gonna be showing you how we can create a business suit uh, profile website and of course everything to manage our actual Facebook page. So the very first thing you wanted to do is to go into the business.facebook.com Something that is really, but really, really important to get started is that you have a Facebook account. Whether if you have a personal account, it doesn't matter because we're going to be creating uh, another sub account, sub uh, domain inside our account. And then later on, we can use that account to manage our business tools. So for example, take a look into this one that says Canva Gigs. I can have an actual account. So I can go into create a business account. So I'm gonna be using this business account name to bring my Facebook pages, my Instagram account, and all of the people who are working with me so I can manage them all into just one place. It's really, really useful to have the Meta Business account created. So here what I want to do is to type into the name of my business account like this and then later on enter your contact information. You don't have to worry about this uh, full name and business email to become a business administrator because all of this information is gonna be visible only to the people who are inside the business account. So type into the business email. I'm gonna type Canva Gigs, for example. This is for an actual client that we do have with us. So I'm gonna create something for them. I'm gonna hit now into create. And then later on, the next process is not that hard, but we actually need to import all of our actual features and elements into our business uh, account. Let's say that we're merging from one place into another one. So then later on, all our stuff are gonna be into just one place. Now, so it says, what do you want to claim into the business account? We have claimed your Facebook pages and Instagram accounts as assets you can manage in the business account. If you don't have any page, if you don't have anything Instagram account created, you don't have to worry about that. Later on, we can do that. So I can hit into skip because we don't have any actual page or account to claim yet. Now, I have myself here and I can add my people here. So let's say for example that I wanted to add one person here. Let's say for example that I want to add this guy and this one is not an employee but a business administrator as well. So I'm going to change that here and have the review people access, how your information is used and displayed and hit into next. So now I have two persons who have the access to the business account. Here's my business account summary and I can edit this account uh, details later. So I want to go into continue and there we go. So the process of creating the business account is not that hard. It's not that uh, hard to add people inside your business account. So I can go in here and as you can see here is my actual business account. So I'm gonna go into the settings section and here into the settings section, what I can do is to customize the business account information, the business assets, the people, the partnerships, if I wanted to work with some uh, more stuff, people add account settings, the business settings, the billing and the language settings. So I want to focus into business settings and this one is gonna be taking me into a new tab of the settings of the actual business section. So I can go into accounts, I can go into pages and here into pages, uh, this is how guys I can add a new page. Let's say that I wanted to add a new page or create an actual new page. So let's say for example that I have an actual Facebook page, I'm gonna go for facebook.com fast forward slash Canva gigs. So if this link is actually working, I'm gonna copy this option and I'm gonna paste it here. So as you can see, it's gonna be appearing a lot, but really, really a lot of uh, Facebook pages. I'm gonna choose this option and hit into add my page. Now, since this page is associated with another commerce account, it can be moved, I can go into the commerce account before to try that again. So I can go back, I'm gonna go back into my better business suit. I'm gonna head into the actual page that I have available, which is in my case is this one. And here you go. So here's the actual page for page. I'm gonna select this one. And once I select this one, I'm gonna go into the page access and I'm gonna hit into managed. And here into manage, I'm gonna add myself in order to have the actual access. So I'm gonna hit now into the X mark. I once again go into the business setting of the page and I wanted to revoke the access so I can later on use it with my actual new business account. So go all the way down, look out for the commerce account. Here it is, 
the one that we have just added. And I wanted to look out for the actual open in commerce manager. So into my data sources, I need to delete the Shopify product catalog so I can later on, I am not able to have the access for more than one business. So I can choose remove, remove the catalog and the process is gonna be now a little bit more easier than that. So I'm gonna hit now into remove catalog and then we're actually good to go. Now let's go back into the business uh, se section. Let's go back into our actual business account, which is actually this one. And now let's say that I wanted to add a new page or a new account. So I'm gonna hit into accounts. Let's go for Instagram account. And let's go for add. I'm going to scroll all the way down, connect your Instagram account. And this is the part where you actually want to do sign in. So I want to use my actual uh, username. Here it is my passcode. Hit into logged in. And just as easy, we just need to grant the access from the actual Instagram inside the Facebook account. Now it says connecting. I just wait a few seconds here. The process is not that hard. But it's really important to do this in order to have access to your Instagram, your Facebook account, and all your sources into just one place. So as you can see how the add accounts, I hit into finished. And now as you can see, this is my account that has been added. New campaigns and said we're automatically into the Instagram as place and you can link new ads to this account. I hit into done. And here is my actual Instagram account. And this one is gonna be assigned an ID that I can use later on for creating ads. So you can add a WhatsApp account if you wanted to. You can add a Facebook page as we saw before. And I can go into add a page or just choose request access to a page. And I want to go into add my page and I want to choose the one that we had tried to enter here. So here is the ID. I hit into add my page and I need to allow the appropriate request from another account in order to uh, do this. So I get into the X mark and now I have everything now successfully done. So this is how we can import all our elements into just one business setting place. So adding application, adding business as the groups, adding account, add accounts, adding pages, all the elements is going to be creating into just one business settings. If you want to assign one person to have an ad account, you can tell them to go directly into an account and create your very first ad account here or go into the business asset group to create your the very first business asset group, the apps, the Instagram account, the WhatsApp, all the data sources is gonna be created and automatically added in here. And if I change from one business asset from another one, take a look into all the assets that I have created with this business account. And with this one, I actually don't have anything because we are just getting started. So this is how guys, we can get started with adding, creating a business account information into the meta business of Facebook. So add, this is going to be really, really, really useful to use this application to have everything gathered into just one place. So each time you want to your socials, your pages, your assets, everything, just go directly into business.facebook.com and all the elements should be appearing in here. With that being said, I think we've now covered the basics. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tools, more stuff, more tips to get started into the meta business suit and creating more assets. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.